Hey guys, it's Stephanie from Getting Gazelle. And as we promised, we we're going to open up a Q&A now that we've reached 250 YouTube subscribers. Um, I'm gonna post this up without Brandon. Um, it's been crazy busy here at our place. Um, <clears throat> the house that we had put an offer on, uh, the yeah. inspection report came back and the sellers were not willing to negotiate. So we ended up pulling out of that sale, um, which potentially can leave us without a home on um, June 23rd. So we have been busy scrambling, trying to figure out what we're gonna do as far as housing here in the Tampa area. Um, it's the end of the school year, so there are tons of like end of year performances and things like that. I'm dressed up today because Xander is the um, surfer of the week. It's kind of like star student. Um, and so today is the day that he is allowed to have a guest come, <clears throat> a guest come and have lunch with him. I am not eating school lunch. Um, instead, Isaiah and I are meeting Brandon <laughs> for our weekly date um but last night we had a chorus concert for delaney which took forever it was the longest concert i've ever been to and as a band nerd i've been to lots and lots of concerts um so it was unorganized and it was madness and then then they went out of order in the program because things weren't ready and they were having technical issues and it was like a four hour concert by the time it was all said and done um it got to the point that brandon had to take the little boys to the car um where xander fell asleep um and i ended up staying with delaney and watching because she was in um the second act song, song number two and then the last two songs of the act so we really couldn't leave early without it being detrimental to the group so um that's what we've been doing she's been having dress rehearsals for that and then she had her performance last night sander has an end of year performance and award ceremony um next week julianne has a performance next week um it's just it's the end of the year we go to school here until the first full week of june so um in minnesota we would be getting out in may but it's an extra week of school which we figure makes up for the week that our kids were traveling around tampa and going to house visits and uh, or showings open houses and with us looking at houses and going to the aquarium i think i said that three times it's been a long time so um i am about to take isaiah and go eat lunch with xander but i wanted to open up the floor and say if you have any questions for brandon and i we are pretty much game um barring like anything that we feel is like security or safety issue um, we're pretty much an open book. And so if you would like to leave your question either here or on our Facebook at Gittin Gazelle, um, go ahead and do it. And we will do a question and answer session, um, as soon as we get a good number of, of questions. I'm not sure how many questions you guys have for us. So that is what we're doing. Um, and we have missed you guys so much. We've missed commenting. I know that the shows I normally watch, I haven't been as good at watching just because we are in an extremely busy season of life. Um, this is our first full year in public school. You hear Isaiah? This is our first full year in public school. And so it's been a huge adjustment for me coming from homeschooling where I was the one that made our schedule and I was the one that made our calendar and I could spread things out and not clump things together unless I absolutely had to. But this is totally different to us. So it's been an adjustment. Um, it's warming up here in Tampa, which has been an adjustment for the kids. 
Um, we've been to the pool. We had my niece over with her husband for a barbecue. We have been to Bush Gardens for an event and um, Brandon had a Mother's Day surprise, so we went to SeaWorld. Um, we got an amazing deal on two-year passes, and so we combined our family fun, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, our family fun envelope with our um, birthday envelope, and we got two-year passes to Busch Gardens, SeaWorld, and a water park. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then for Mother's Day, Brandon used hotel points and we spent the night in downtown Disney. So, um, if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them below and we'll chat. Talk to you later. Bye.